fucking kidding me. <laughs> Okay, so we have one of our senior level freestyle skaters here right now with a very, very, very common problem, unfortunately. So she's currently in an Adia Ice Fly. Um, she has a phantom parabolic ugh, blade on the bottom of it right now. So she's having, like I said, a common problem where she's getting a lot of pain on her navicular bone, which is the bone just on the inside, just above the arch, right in this area here. So as I think I mentioned in one of the other videos, the problem with the ice fly skate is it doesn't have any arch support and we combat the arch support sometimes by putting that CCM insole on the inside but unfortunately uh, Valentina over here went and cheated on me and got somebody else to mount her skates so it looks to me like uh, this skate is actually mounted off center if you see maybe you can see from the top side here it's mounted a little bit too far that way now problem is when you mount too far this way it's gonna make you fall in a little bit like this when you fall in a little bit like that, it's going to put pressure on that navicular bone. Also looks like he mounted it a little bit short on the front and then flush on the back. I would have done the opposite and mounted it flush on the front and then leave a little space in the back. So what we're going to do here is get these permanent screws out of here, which he shouldn't have put those in until she tested it anyways. These temporary screws here, we can still move the blade a little bit. She's still got two free holes here, so we can get it permanently mounted uh, after we you know, make this adjustment. So we're going to take a look exactly where the pain is on her foot and then move the blade, get her out on the ice and try it and uh, hopefully we can get this thing fixed. Okay, so the bone we're talking about here is right there, as you can see the navicular bone. So it, it's caused when foot pronates in. So she brought her old skates. She actually wears the exact same size, 230 Adidas. Uh, as you see, I'm out of these ones, so I can mount it a little bit further up on the front. So we look at the pattern where the blade was mounted on the last skate and it is a little further inside than her one is currently. So we're gonna take these off. She had no problem with these skates, by the way. So we're gonna take these permanent screws out, loosen up these temporary screws, move it over, and uh, again, test it out on the ice. We're gonna shift the blade a little bit that way. Put one of the temporary screws in. Then we're gonna take a look at it. Already I can see it's a little bit closer to that center line. Uh, another thing, we'll get into this later on, but when mounting skates, you never use the seam of the skate as the center of it because it's kind of always off on, on, on different skates. You have to just make sure that the skate is in front of you and you can see that you're going down the center of it. So you can tell from the bottoms too. This front part really bothering me. So we're looking like we're in the right spot here and you can see by the old hole in the front. That used to be a hole right there to the right of it, my right but now we've shifted it to the left. So now that we have the temporaries all in, uh, we are going to get her out on the ice and test it. So once uh, we find the right placement works, then we're gonna drill two new holes. Since we have two free holes here, we're gonna drill two more holes and then get the permanent mount in. Side note, she also has the CCM ortho move insole in it. As I mentioned in an earlier video, 99% of our skaters that are in ice fly skates uh, have the ortho move insole in there simply because it gives you a lot of pain on your navicular bone because there's no arch support. So that helps. But even with the CCM ortho move in there with a the blade mounted too far to the outside, it's going to make her foot fall into the inside and create that bump that she's got now. So ready to get on the ice? Yeah. All right. It was just a little far to the outside. So it's going to force you to go inside and cause that issue. So just you know, don't do anything too crazy with the tent mount out there. So you can do, you know, waltz jump, axle, stuff like that. But um, just make sure it's straight and it's taking pressure off it. Okay. And let me know if you need me to move it anymore or back, whatever. Just let me know. She's just going to make sure that it's relieving the pressure from a navicular. I mean, it looks pretty good already, so. She said as we as we were walking down that it felt better. So, unfortunately, in the figure skating world, it's very it's very old school, and a lot of the coaches just you know go ahead and mount blades just because that's kind of what they've they've done their entire lives. But the fact of the matter is, there's plenty of skate techs around that 
you know, are trained to do this. You know, we get situations where, you know, you got a $750 boot and a $500 blade, $600 blade, and, um, you know, it's mounted incorrectly and it's causing the skater some distress on her foot. But Valentina's skating over at another rink right now where, uh, you know, some of the coaches just decide to either sharpen out of their garage or, you know, mount skates in their garage. And it's just something that it's a, it's, it's a struggle dealing with it in the figure skating world. But, um, you know, the only thing you can do is really, you know, be good at what you do and make sure that you do what's best for the skater. And, you know, they come back and tell their friends. So how does, uh, how does it feel? It feels fine. Fine? Better, yeah. What, uh, do you need me to move it at all? Do you want to try moving it in? Like inside anymore? Because you were you were out you were out about an eighth of an inch. Yeah. Left ones get left ones okay. Yeah, they feel fine. Feels good. Okay. It's because the, the the right one's a little out too, but. No, that one I don't need. Okay. Yeah. You want to skate for a couple more minutes and let me know. Should we skate move it a little bit more inside? Yeah. It's a, it's up to you. Come on in here. Okay, so feedback from Valentina is she wants to try to move just a little bit more on the inside. Uh, she's feeling a little bit of pressure still on that navicular bone, so we're gonna move it slightly more towards the inside, again, to take off uh, a little bit of pronation. And we're gonna get back out on the ice and try it. Now with the Jackson blades, you have less of a worry of the bend, but with the MK John Wilson blades, you gotta make sure that when you're moving the blade, you don't actually torque it and put a bend in it. So I can see that the blade is still fine and straight, so I'll try it again. So I got a story about her for an equipment issue. She went to, I wanna say it was regionals. What's up? No, you, you just interrupted my story. Oops. I'm just kidding. Ronan, Ronan's here, he's got something for you. What's that? No, I didn't follow my butt yesterday, that was like something. I heard you ran two clean programs. Yeah. Awesome, yeah, your mom sent them, they look great. Thanks. <laughs> Olivia, pal, always, always, always good timing, yeah? So, I have a funny story about her and, and, and her equipment. She was uh, at a collegiate uh, skate, uh, the Liberty in Fid like, the Philadelphia Open or something like that, and um, she sends me a picture, picture, she says, I had to get my skate sharpened. Are they supposed to look like this? And the back of her heel was completely rounded off like a, like a hockey skate would be. And the front, right uh, right in front, I guess right aside from the, the toe pick, had a big dent on the inside. It's a, it's a common problem when you don't know how to really sharpen finger skates to uh, round off the heel and to, and to leave that indent. Uh, just after the pick, and I texted her back, uh, no, they're not supposed to look like that. So, to the credit of the store that was that was there, I mean, she had, she, she, she normally lets me, you know, handle all of her stuff, but she was in a pinch, she was up there, she, you know, blew an edge or something, and she needed them done, so she just gave them the guy, but to the credit of the store up there, they actually replaced uh, her blades and, and, and uh, you know, gave her a new pair. I, it's just, again, it's one of those things that it, it, it boggles my mind that, if you don't know how to properly sharpen a pair of figure case, why would you, you know, sharpen a pair of $600 blades? But they replaced them, so uh, I, think, I, think, I think I still have them in the store as a keeps tip. She just got off the ice, so I hate working on really cold blades, so I just usually heat them up just a little bit. Um, I do heat them slowly right before sharpening uh, all the time. You don't want to put a freezing cold uh, figure blade on a wheel to sharpen that's going to get instantly hot that change in temperature uh, rapid change in temperature uh, has sometimes caused cracks in blades so heat them up a little bit before we work on them all right so we got placement in the right spot she says sharpening's fine so the only thing we really did need to do is add these permanent screws so you can see the holes that were here previous that one's kind of close but the one in the front is definitely off so can't use those same holes. So what we're gonna do is drill two new ones. Unlike working on certain Jackson skates, Rydell's, Harlex, Graf's, SB Terry's, um, you actually drill all the way through the sole on these. There's no counter sunk tip on the self-driving screws, whatever they call them, uh, on the Adidas screws. So unlike the Jackson's where you just gotta get the hole started and then you can drill it through, this one, you actually have to go all the way through. 
the skate, and I use a 764 drill bit, which is perfect for the Adidas screws. Super simple, like I said, the hard part is getting that initial mount right, and then the permanent screws, simple as that. So back hole's a little bit off too, so I'm gonna drill a new top in the back, new top in the back. One thing about Adidas screws is they're all, the permanent screws are one size. Jack, screws that come from Jackson for other blades. The ones for the heel are much longer, usually like double the size of that. Adidas screws are the same size for the front and the back. I feel like I want a longer screw from the in the back just because there's a lot more stress on the back of the blade. Uh, you want to hold in there. So, like I said, permanent mount took me, you know, a couple seconds. The initial mount is the one that takes the time and takes the experience. So she's good to go, sharpening's fine. So she's done.